Hey guys, my name is Rodrigo, and in this video, I will show you how to convert Canon's uh, raw files, which are CR2 files, convert them to JPEG files using Canon's own proprietary application called Digital Photo Professional 4. I usually I like this application because it's free and it's Canon's, and it works pretty well. Never had any problems with it. So the first thing you'll need is a Canon camera, of course, and the camera should be taking photos in RAW format. If not, depending on the camera you have, I have myself a 6D. You turn on the camera, you press menu button, and the first thing, on the first tab, you should have something like image quality. You go there, and you choose the RAW format. And that's that. So, yeah, so let's Download the application first. You go to canoneurope.com support, or you can just Google uh, Canon download Canon DPP program, and it should get you this to this app to this website. I'll leave this website also in the description, so don't worry about it. So yeah, so you go here, EOS cameras. Okay. Go here, applic the software. Oops, wrong button, go back. Okay, and you can just choose which Canon camera you have. I have the 6D, so I'll go there. Wait till that opens. Okay, that's loading. Yeah, and then you can choose the operating system you have. I have a Mac, so I'll press Mac. Okay, maybe an older version. Maybe here. Software. Okay. Where's it? A bit lost now. Okay, maybe go support software. Okay, press the EOS cameras. And you choose the camera you have, the 6D. Okay, the operating system. Let's press all X, OS X. Where is it? Oh, okay, of course, software. Go here again. So, okay, so here we are at the software uh, site. And you go Digital Photo Professional for Mac. Click on that. It's loading. And it should take you to uh, the site where you can download. But it's pretty slow, so I apologize for that. No, yes, it's loading. Yeah, okay, cool. So, download. Okay. Oh, yeah, normally it will ask you for the serial number, so you can just paste the serial number, submit, and then you can download it. After downloading it, you can just install it on your machine and then yeah so it's installed everything's good so after taking photos in raw format you will need to put the SD card or CF card on your machine and what I like to do is I always uh, copy the, f the, the files from the SD card to my computer because once it happened to me I was converting it directly from the SD card and something happened, I'm not sure what happened. The application stopped completely. I removed the SD card, I placed it back in, and then it was empty. Everything, all my photos were gone. I don't know why, but it was completely empty. I was able, luckily I was able to restore the, the SD card, the photos using the application to restore everything. So nothing, not everything was lost, but still it was pretty scary. So I always, always, copy 
the CR2 uh, files to my computer. So I have these two files I took today in the morning, well, in the afternoon at 1. So I copy those. I put it in a folder here. Paste them there. Okay, cool. So they're there now. So you open the application. You go to where the photos are. In my case, Canon. So yeah, so here are the two photos I took. The window and of my electric bike. So here are the CR2 photo uh, formats. You choose the photos you want. And then to press here, edit. Or is it view? Where is it? Okay, here. View and tool palette. You open that. And then go on to this tab, like a lens tab. Oh, the first thing, also, if it's the first time you're using this application, you should download the, the list of lenses you have. So, and to do that, because, you know, lenses, they're not perfect. They all have problems, even the more expensive lenses. They have uh, problems, and Canon knows that. So even Canon uh, acknowledges that their lenses are perfect, and they have... For example, it could be chromatic aberration problems or, or color problems. So you press here, the little arrow, circle, and you choose the lens you have. As you can see, I have the 50 millimeter. I have a couple of other ones here, there. So you choose the, the lens you have, and then you can just start, and then we'll download the specifications of this lens. And the application knows that I took these two photos using this the 24-105 lens because it's uh, highlighted and it's darker. So it knows that it's using these these lens this lens, and it will use the correction using the this lens. Okay, so after downloading installing the correction files for the lenses. You just choose the photos you want, these two. You press here, Digital Lens Optimizer. It will optimize the photos. And depending on how many photos you have and how, how uh, fast your computer is, it can take a few seconds or a few minutes or even longer. So after optimizing, you see now it has this little symbol here. It means that it's optimized, so everything's good. I normally don't touch anything else, I just choose the photos optimize them, and then that's it. And then here, I like to always save the photos afterwards. So I save them, already optimized, save, replace, save, replace. So I have now the optimized version of the photos. As you can see, that's a little check. So to convert the photos themselves, you go to the photos, and you here because since there are more than one you have to you should do this the batch process it's better it's faster so okay so this opens you choose the place where you want the new photo the new photos to be saved I have here big Canon done in this folder and that's it and um, here create storage no here and then this one Choose JPEG type and image quality. I normally uh, choose seven. I've been doing tests ranging from lowest to the highest to see which would be the best, uh, which would have the photos, which photos would have the best ratio of size and quality. I've noticed that with 10, the quality is pretty good, but the photo, the size of the photos are really, really big. So I've been doing a couple of tests and I've I've decided that seven is the, the best the best number in terms of ratio in terms of um, photo size and quality okay so you do that only here I don't touch this resize no leave this like this current file name so yeah and that's pretty much it afterwards you can press execute 
and it is converting the files from CR2 to JPEG. And again, depending on how fast your computer is and how many fi uh, files you have, it might take a few seconds or even a few minutes. So we can wait until this finishes, or we can just, yeah, let's wait at least for one, just to see. Now imagine having to wait, if you take like a thousand photos, imagine have, having to wait hours to convert all the photos. I went to Paris a couple of weeks ago and I took like almost 2,000 photos during those few days I was there. And it took me over 24, 24 hours to convert all the photos to JPEG. It took a long time. So yeah, so yeah, when it's finished, we can cancel. And we can go to the folder here, Canon. These are two folders. And I have, where is it? Here it is. And as you can see, it's pretty good. So yeah, this was my video. And hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions or doubts or anything, just leave them in the comments. I'll be happy to help you. So yeah, thank you for listening and have a nice day.